Okay, last but not least, we're going to learn the shopping basket analysis tool. Also, an incredibly useful tool in this suite. So here in your, uh, in your um, worksheet, in your workbook, we're going to move, instead of using this worksheet, we're going to move down the, down the row here to, there we go, the Associate tab in the DM Add and Sample Data workbook. So here, notice how the data is different. What we have is a group of order numbers and then categories and then products that were purchased on that order. So the Sport 100 is a helmet on this receipt. The long sleeve logo jersey is a jersey on this receipt. So the way we need to have the data set up is each order line item on its own separate row. We don't worry about quantity, we just worry about the uh, some identifier that groups all of the items together the product and then a price. So as you scroll down you'll see um, here's an order with three items on it, a couple of different tubes, a helmet once again, and that's the way the data should be formatted. So with our cursor somewhere in this table, let's go to the Analyze tab and then Shopping Basket Analysis. Here we need to identify three things. First the transaction ID. What, what um, column or field is grouping items together that were in a shopping basket, so to speak. And it's auto-detected auto that order number, which it is, this is the column that keeps track of all the items on a receipt. Next, we need to decide what it is we want to associate together. Do we want to associate things at the category level or at the product level? So if we leave this as category, we're basically saying which aisles in the store, so to speak, um, were had products purchased off them together in a shopping basket. So this helps us determine which aisles should go together. And then this is optional. We can keep track of the price of the product purchased, and you'll see what that's for. Um, on advanced, I think there's mm, yeah, there's nothing here that I want you to necessarily have to learn. So I'm just going to cancel out of that and hit run. So text patterns. It should bring up a new sheet again. There we go. It brought up actually two sheets, a uh, list of recommendations and uh, bundled items. So what we have here are bundles. And this is a bundle size 2. Some of them are larger, size 3. But this tells us which categories should go together. Now there's um, three other columns here that can, that can help us. And some of them are kind of complicated. So let me tell you exactly what you should know um, without getting too deep into it. So number of sales, this tells us the number of times these appeared together. Uh, average value per sale and overall value of the bundle. Okay, average value per sale, this is a number that represents the value if we were to place these categories next to each other in our store. Now, sometimes they may not be purchased quite as often, therefore the overall value also incorporates how often those are likely to be purchased together. So when it comes time to decide which categories should be next to each other, we want to sort by overall value of bundle. And in fact, it's pre-sorted by that. So this tells us right now that based on the amount of money that could be made and the number of times it's sold, if we were to place the road bikes aisle next to the helmets aisle, we'll make relatively this much more money than by placing anything else together. Super, super useful information. So as we scroll down, it just gets smaller and smaller and smaller. We want to look at these first few and then make redesign our store, basically, based on this data. Okay, this is pretty awesome stuff. How many stores do you think actually do this? Well, only the ones who can afford to hire some uh, uh, expensive external consulting firm to come in and do this analysis for them and tell them where to put things. However, now you have this power uh, in your hands in Excel. It's, it's pretty awesome. So let's do one more analysis. Um, actually, before I do, let me come over here to the to the recommendations link. Um, actually, you know what? I think to keep things simple, I'm not going to worry about this one for now. What I want you to know is simply uh, how to sort by overall val uh, overall value of the bundle. Now, if we were to sort by average value per sale from largest to smallest, this tells us that per sale, it's best to have these three categories together. However, people don't often buy a mountain bike. Okay, that's something, it's, it's a higher priced item, uh, relatively more expensive, so the overall value is actually pretty low. 
But let's say that all of a sudden I expected mountain bike sales to go through the roof. Um, or something like this. Cleaner, oh no, that's also got mountain bikes in it. Here we go, hydration pack, I oh know that's got touring bikes in it. That makes sense. Bikes are a higher profit item, so the average value per sale is bigger. If for some reason I would expect mountain bikes to start selling through the roof, then that changes things. If I expect my volume of sales to be different than they were before, then the overall value of this bundle could potentially be higher than anything else because its average value per sale is the highest. However, if I expect the future to be relatively consistent and not change a whole lot, then I would base my decisions on the overall value of the bundle, not on the average value per sale. Okay, let's do one more. And this time, instead of uh, associating the item by category, let's do it by product. So after we've done it by category and we've determined which aisles should be together, now we want to determine um, which products within each aisle should be together. Or maybe we have end cap displays at the end of an aisle where we have um, temporary promotions going on. If we associate at the product level, then that tells us which individual products should be next to each other. Once again, we sort by overall value of the bundle. And uh, we have here the Mountain 200 that's probably a bike that tells us we want to stick this mountain fender set right next to that bike and that gives us the overall highest overall value per bike. Anyway, pretty awesome tool and uh, that'll do it for shopping basket analysis.